Hey guys, Regina Floyd of Freedom to Live Life. Welcome coming to you from fabulous Las Vegas. Today I want to talk to you about the power of a thought. It is intentions, day 53, I believe. And uh, what brings this up for me is I am part of a, a, a coaching group, a conscious entrepreneurs coaching group, where we get together once a week and we really you know, dive into our thinking and learning how to consciously live, how to consciously create. And this focuses around our business, but it really does affect our entire life. And right now we're doing an exercise where we were encouraged to um, come up with categories for our life. For example, uh, family, um, a little bit more general, maybe relationships, money, health, business. And in those categories, uh, we were asked to, first of all, uh, write down what we we think, you know, what we think we believe or what we think about um, that area, uh, that particular category. And then we write down, we, we continue that and we write down um, what we are experiencing or what's happening in that area. And then lastly, for each category, we write down what we would like, what we want in that category or that area. And what has been really interesting to me is, uh, you know, first of all, um, assessing the thoughts that are coming up, especially when it comes to, you know, what I believe or what I think about that particular topic. Maybe what, what my thoughts are about money or my thoughts are about relationships or my thoughts are about um, business. Uh, an example might be, you know, in business, like maybe a thought that I had or something that I've been clinging to is that in order to have a successful business means I have to work very hard or I have to work more. Kind of along with that job mentality, right? The only way to make more money at your job is to put in more time. And so that awareness popped up. But what's even more incredible is when I focus on what I want in that area, you know, the things I want to see in each of those areas, I noticed that every time I started writing down what I want to see, I felt good. The feelings were really interesting and it felt good. And I've gotten addicted to doing this at night before bed because I finish in the category of what I want. And so I go to bed and maybe I pick the, the category of relationship or even money or business, whatever category it is. And I start to write down what I want to see and what I want to happen in that category. And as I write it down and I think about it, I think about, or even fitness, because I'm doing this as, you know, right before my, my workout, even in fitness, when I stop and I think about, okay, I want to have this particular body, I want to look this particular way, I want to feel this particular way, and as I write that and I focus on that thought, the, the feeling that I have is, is incredible. You know, so I, I'm focusing on that thought and the feeling I have with it, and then I go to bed kind of letting my mind and my subconscious kind of ponder that and dwell on that. And it's, it's, really, it's really been incredible because the more I focus on the good, the good things I want and I focus on the positives in the different areas and I feel, well, guess what's happening? Things are starting to show up. Things are starting to change because I'm focusing more on what I want and I'm, I'm, I'm bringing about a thought that is positive and feels good. And... You know, try it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Find an area or, or pick an area of your life or pick a topic or something. And, you know, just start to create the, a thought that you want. And let that, you know, not only think it, but feel it. And see what happens. And I'd love to hear your comments uh, with your experiences on this. If you've done something like this, then please leave me a comment and share. And, uh, you know, subscribe to my videos if you're interested in just keeping, keeping uh, in a loop of what I talk about next. There's no telling what the next day will bring. But I look forward to hearing and reading your comments on what you're experiencing when you focus your thought and see what it brings about for you. Okay? Make it a fabulous day. You really do deserve it. Check out any links you see in this description or on this video, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great one. Bye-bye.